Hi friends, we are focusing on loving our neighbors. Last week we learned what it means to be a good neighbor and that neighbors aren't just the people who live next door or across the street. A neighbor is anyone you come into contact with throughout your day. This week, our story takes place in the book of Acts. An angel of the Lord told, came to Philip, a follower of Jesus, and told Philip to go to the desert road. When Philip arrived at the road, he meets a man from Ethiopia. This man was a long way from home. The Holy Spirit tells Philip to go to the man's chariot. When Philip approaches, he sees the Ethiopian man reading the book of Isaiah. Once Philip starts talking to this man from far away, he learns that the man has questions about who this part of the Bible is talking about. Philip is able to share the good news about Jesus to this man, who immediately gets baptized and becomes a follower of Jesus. Was Philip a good neighbor to the Ethiopian man? You bet. The first thing Philip did right was he listened to God. He listened to the angel of God and the Holy Spirit within him. After listening, Philip acted. Even though he had never met the Ethiopian man before, he talked to him. Because Philip had acted, he was able to change a man's life. Jesus gained another follower that day, and the Ethiopian man was saved so that he could be with God and Jesus forever. All of that because of one conversation with Philip. This story is a wonderful example of what it means to be a good neighbor. When we listen to God and act as good neighbors to everyone we meet, we change. We change ourselves and the neighbors we connect with. See you next week.